Welcome back to Rocky Knob Farm and our YouTube channel. I'm Jason Akers and it's been a while since I did a video. We've uh, had a lot going on between uh, harvesting pumpkins and getting the pumpkin house done. We're now in uh, corn picking business. We didn't sell all of our fodder, so I hated to see all the corn uh, go to waste. So we bought us a one row corn picker and stay tuned and I'll try to catch you up on what we've been doing here lately. We were definitely blessed with a lot of good looking pumpkins here we're grading and washing and getting them ready for the pumpkin house and separating what we want to sell as retail we also had a lot of uh, exotic pumpkins they turned out beautiful this year also You gotta keep in mind that this is a machine that was made in the probably 30s or 40s. Uh, it does a wonderful job. Yeah, we bought it back last year. Uh, if you've never seen one of these before, man, they're a cherry. This is to cut fodder with. It cuts it, it bundles it, and then spits it out the back. It saves a lot of manpower. It's called a corn binder. Nine o'clock of the evening. Sun went down. We did get some rain, but it's a whole lot nicer to work. Still muggy, but we're washing these pumpkins. As we wash them with bleach water, we're grading them and putting them in different bins so that we know what to price them at. So I do want to go ahead and remind everybody that it's a minimal amount of bleach that we mix in the water. And what it's for is to prolong the life of the pumpkins, kill any fungus or bacteria. They're still safe for animal and wildlife. While we had a very warm fall time of year picking pumpkins, it worried us about the life of the pumpkins and hoping that they would last, especially at the pumpkin house coming around the corner. We were very blessed. We harvested over 6,000 pumpkins, selling almost every one of them. Uh, we did give a few to schools, but we were very blessed this year. Well, we're back in the field here on an early Sunday morning. We've got a one load picked. And we come in here and to see what we have. We got one here pretty decent. Pretty good pumpkins. And we managed to take a break and clean out the high tunnel some so that we could store some mums.
Hey, check it out. There's Ellison with his cat. And yes, that corn binder was a well investment. We've sold a lot of fodder this year. We couldn't have sold the amount that we sold without having it or spending a lot more man hours cutting it and stringing it. It really, really helped us out. We've got a stockpile started for the pumpkin house. We went through and sized them, and most of these go to the pumpkin house, so that they're in storage and keeping them out of the sun. My garage is even full. And let the fun begin at the pumpkin house. Tab's decorating, getting everything ready. We're starting to haul and deliver pumpkins and get the shelvings built and get ready for the big week. We lay all the pumpkins out on pallets in the backyard as Rick begins drawing. He will draw a pumpkin and set it back down and get it ready for the week of carving. Rick spends a lot of time in his backyard this week. He will be drawing pumpkins till two and three in the morning. Tab even jumped in and helped him draw a few. We're installing a new light show for this year. It's gonna be kind of neat. Joe and Riley preparing the wall with LED light bulbs. With all the sun and the warm temperatures, we put these shade cloths over the pumpkins. Hey, if you've missed us doing our channel, make sure you comment and like. Let me know that you missed uh, Spin Around. And the carving has began. We all started carving on a Monday, and it made a pretty long day, but we had volunteers start coming in throughout the week, and... As always, we seem to pull it off. Uh, it started out slow, but the Lord blessed us, and it was a good time and a good turnout. And here's the big pumpkin. Sarah Beth Baker from Ronsevert, West Virginia, brought in her 720-pound pumpkin. We put it on the stand and got it ready to start carving. And any pumpkin that had a flaw, the chickens seemed to enjoy it, and the hogs, they were all ready for Halloween to be over. Seems like they ate a lot of pumpkins.
and every night of the week we gain more pumpkins being put out as we carve them and this big pumpkin turned out great. Well, the JLG come in handy. Tanner got all the pumpkins on top of the house and look how wonderful it turned out. Well, an estimated over 50,000 people visited the pumpkin house, and now it's time to begin cleaning up. Well, we had a line of farmers show up, and uh, we loaded pumpkins till about noon. And we found some time to bush hog the pumpkin patch and get it prepared before winter comes. Well, this is going to catch us up for now. If you missed us being around, make sure you comment below. And if you haven't watched us, like and subscribe. Thank you.